Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. I hope you guys are doing fantastic in your watercolor journey. So I'll go ahead and uh, make my first ever uh, the flower watercolor. In, uh, so hope you guys uh, will enjoy this uh, the demo. Yellow ochre. So you need to be very free uh, and that's what my intent here is to be very much free uh, so the extra burden anything when you take in your while you do painting start doing the judgment this color will not work and that time actually it keeps you on a little bit of uh, hesitation to select your individual colors so here I'm using this the green color for leaf and now I'll be using the right color for the red flower so this is the first was so mostly I'll be negotiating some of the uh, the overlapping the color I have seen some of the artists who work especially on flower. They are great. I mean, the, their works and the the the, the way they look at those uh, the perspective and the overall look and feel of the uh, the color is absolutely fantastic. So you can also you can go and check the other artist also who is doing the watercolor flowers so this is again the lift part Here I'm using this cobalt blue. We have completed our first wash, but uh, now we have to do a little bit of weight on weight. Uh, so wherever there are some highlight, the red highlight uh, required. So I'll be I'll be giving a little highlight uh, with the uh, uh, with the red color so that when it get dry so it gives you in a very nice you uh, know contrast feel so my paper is not yet dried it's uh, a little moisture is still there so this is the right time to take the color and put wherever wherever you feel is uh, you know required some depth you can just do that so i have just taken this red and uh, i'm also mixing a little burnt sienna in it so that brings a little depth on on the color
So I've mixed a little <coughs> ivory black. Okay, so I'll leave it uh, as it is now. Uh, so we have just completed our first layer. Now I'll let it dry and then uh, we'll come back and do our second layer when it gets dry completely. So I would request you to please go to my Facebook page and like them. I do a lot of activities there. Uh, I do a lot of plein air announcement and uh, I upload my own um, latest artwork and what I'm doing so those all the activities and the updates you will be you will be getting so I would I would uh, encourage you to please go to my Facebook page and like my page the same thing uh, even in uh, Twitter I do a lot of uh, activities there so uh, you'll be getting to know more about uh, my initiative and the kind of uh, work I'm doing right now so it is always good to get in touch and get update what I've been doing. Okay, since like uh, our first uh, layer completely dried now, and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll make a second layer of this. So uh, first I'll go with uh, the leaf. And some leaf which is slightly far so probably you can just play around with some color So I'll just see some, I'll just play around some of uh, the light and the depth of the flower. So I'll be taking a little, a slightly thicker patch and this patch will
the loops here. Just a random work here for lips. So we need to give a little depth here. Never effort to pick any color. So that's the that's the quality you'll have to establish. Tone down. little bit of uh, detailing to highlight the petals This is <coughs> the second rose. Something Yeah, that's all. So I think I think that's good enough to, to say yes, we have done no much work. So 
this was my very first attempt to make uh, flour and I, I tried to make uh, the rose and uh, and I think uh, and I should be very happy with this uh, because uh, if I'm not happy with it then it's not opening a door for uh, explore further so whatever you do my whole intention here is to show this experience is mainly to tell you that uh, no matter if your painting is coming the way you want or it is pleasing your eyes or not but you should be happy with whatever it is there with you right now whatever you have created it's your creation you should fall in love with them and and that's the mantra to learn watercolor whatever you do you just embrace them and uh, say thank you and uh, things will come out really nice so you'll have to do a practice so i'm sure that if i'll do a couple of more time uh, things will go even more better ways so so that's the that's the only <clears throat> the key for success to learn watercolor be very much free be whatever comes in your mind and uh, and just express yourself with your with your color and brush so thank you everyone for watching this video and uh, i'll come up with a new video very soon thank you